Welcome back to the channel. If you are looking for a comparative analysis of DocuSign, HelloSign, Adobe Sign, PandaDoc, Foxit eSign, this is the review that you want. Of course, we are speaking about e-signatures, right? Let's first start with DocuSign. We like DocuSign's industry-leading solution with strong support for secure, cloud-based contract signatures and storage. And uh, this company, DocuSign, has a long reputation for helping people and businesses sign online. Let's say if you have ever bought or sold a home, you could be familiar with DocuSign already. For businesses with many important contracts, DocuSign stands out as a good choice for secure signing and storage. And what we love about DocuSign is they have uh, their agreement cloud. This is a solution that helps you automate and improve how you manage your signature and contract process and makes it a strong contender in this comparative analysis. There are additional features that we, we love with, the, with DocuSign. You have the collaborative platform for contracts and negotiations, documents and analytics, identity verification, notary, activity tracking, and lots of integrations. Now, one thing for sure, this is not the cheapest solution. However, it covers even the most advanced and complex signature needs your business can throw at it. So when you think about DocuSign, I want you to think about uh, an e-signature solution that is very easy. You have contract lifecycle management. You can actually see things from A to Z. You have integrations for every workflow. In other words, you are basically streamlining your workflows with connected integrations. You have more than 400 of them. Okay. So whether you need contracts, whatever you need contracts to work, those integrations are there to help you out. Here are the pros and cons in our view of DocuSign. Pros. It's one of the first major providers of online signature solutions. You have a strong cloud support with DocuSign Agreement Cloud and uh, the e-signature plan starts the, those plans start at ten dollars per month here are the drawbacks the cons the free version is extremely 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 limited and the the, the more expensive uh, subscription is actually required for all features so if you are looking for all features you need to have the more expensive one so when we talk about DocuSign you have the agreement cloud a full a full suite of industry leading applications integrations and flexible APIs you have business agility you have uh, you have a constellation of departments where you're speaking about facilities finance human resources IT operations legal marketing to procurement product management sales and support you can see in terms of pricing on the screen here they have three types of uh, pricing three tiers of pricing a e signature e signature for real estate specifically and the developer plans Let me talk to you now about Adobe Sign number two. This is the second player we are going to review into this conversation. We love Adobe Sign for small businesses because this service includes many features businesses may already need, including advanced options to sign documents on your own computers or have documents sign online. Okay, Adobe Acrobat is a software used to read PDF files for free. Everybody knows that. Users with larger needs can upgrade to Adobe Acrobat Pro, which includes the features you need to add a signature to a document. Also, you can send your PDF to the web for a signature and payment when you sign up for an Adobe Sign subscription. Here are the pros and cons of Adobe, uh, Adobe Sign. The pros. Popular business software includes the ability to sign and edit documents. You can go beyond signatures with full PDF, PDF editing features and you have options to launch your form to the web for e-signatures and payments. Here is one con, one drawback that we believe is important. The software is complicated with many features which could slow you down and eat up time. Especially if you are an individual. By the way, Adobe Sign is also suitable for individuals. It depends on the kind of work that you have to get done. So when we talk about Adobe Sign, the e-signature core features you have a constellation of uh, options, of features rather, a constellation of, of uh, features. From You can collect signatures and sign agreements to scan and sign on mobile. You can track and manage agreements. You can add a business stamp. You can prepare a form. You can customize languages. You can keep records and audit trail. Your audit trails, you can create and, and share reusable templates. You can collect e-signatures from websites. You can collect payments with, with Braintree for that matter. You, you have advanced forms and so on and so forth. Okay, and you can send in box. So there are there are, there are very re relevant 
features, PDF features that you can have with Adobe Sign. Obviously, Adobe is the quintessential uh, PDF uh, document reader. You can view, share, comment on, and track PDFs for review. Everything all the way to exporting PDFs. You can organize pages in the PDF file, and so on and so forth. In terms of uh, one thing you need to also understand here is that you have security and compliance. You have integration, so Adobe Sign integrates very well with Microsoft 360. You also have the box integration. They have a team features, so you can manage users with ad admin console. You can uh, manage groups. You have also account delegation. In terms of pricing, as you can see on the screen here, you have the individual uh, pricing tier, but you also have the team's pricing tier. I want to quickly talk to you now about Panda Doc. By the way, just in case you just uh, joined this conversation, we are having a conversation about, we are having a comparative analysis of e-signature providers. So we have DocuSign, Adobe Sign, PandaDoc, HelloSign, and Foxit eSign. Now I want to talk about PandaDoc. And one thing you need to understand, we love PandaDoc because they have a wide range of features with a user-friendly interface and reasonable pricing. So when you think about PandaDoc, I want you to think about that. User friendliness and affordability, okay? So this service includes a free plan that can work for diverse personal and business signature needs. And PandaDoc basically helps you create or upload documents for a signature quickly and makes it, every, it makes it very easy for your customers to sign too. So if you are in a customer facing sort of role, PandaDoc can be really great for you. Automated workflows push the process along with uh, along when you need certain signatures, especially when certain signatures are depending on someone else. If you want to customize your sales documents with designer templates or CRM integration to align more with your brain and better your customer experience, your customer's experience, this is possible with PandaDoc. Okay. One thing we love about PandaDoc is that the, the, the tool is also very easy to just get simple signatures once in a while when you just need them. Because the whole thing is, sometimes you don't, need, you don't need a lot of signatures, just need one or two. Okay. And altogether, in our view, PandaDoc is a great choice for most signature needs. Okay. Here are the pros and cons of this service. The pros. The free version includes unlimited signatures and payment collection. Upgraded, upgraded version versions include templates, integrations, and advanced pricing. And you have a strong security process and robust features to make to meet, actually meet the most signature-related needs. What about the cons? You have templates and integrations that require a paid membership, and the lowest cost paid plan starts at $19 per month when built annually. So. I just want to say that PandaDoc really is a great choice for signatures, whether you need a single signature for a one-off contract or regularly need to have documents signed for your business. It offers a little something for everyone and is very easy to use. Okay, so for those reasons, we believe it deserves a top spot for a, in our comparative analysis. Okay, you have used cases. They are very, very, you can actually use them for proposals, quotes, contracts, e-signatures, forms, payments, all the way to uh, sales invoice tools. Okay, you have appro approval workflow tools. This is really great. In terms of integrations, you have you have everything from HubSpot to Pop to Pop Drive to Monday.com to Zoho. And now uh, you have solutions. And in terms of pricing, you can see the pricing as of the date of this show on the screen right now. I want to quickly talk to you about Hello Sign. We love this this name anyway. I mean, Hello Sign now called Dropbox Sign because Dropbox has actually acquired Hello Sign. So the new name here is the Dropbox Sign. We actually kept the Hello Sign because. Uh, uh, users are still uh, accustomed to hello sign so we just thought our viewers might also know the, the service by hello sign so hello sign aka dropbox sign is great for freelancers because it offers powerful features in its essential plan and it is really perfect for a solo business we're speaking here about a sole proprietorship and, uh, and it has a reasonable cost and HelloSign is an online signature software tool that comes from Dropbox, the popular file storage and sharing platform. 
while it offers plenty of fancy features for bigger companies willing to pay more, freelancers and solopreneurs looking for a more comprehensive service at a reasonable price may find HelloSign's essential pl essentials plan covers their unique business needs. Okay, what we what we love about HelloSign is that it is scalable. It is flexible. If you are a serious user, if you have technical skill, uh, technical skills. You may want to tap into the HelloSign API to integrate electronic signatures onto your website or apps, but most freelancers, in our view, probably would not need that kind of integration. It includes enterprise-grade security and compliance tools that work for just about any profession or need. Here are the pros and cons, in our view, of this service, HelloSign. The pros. You can prepare professional documents with signer fields and unlimited requests. You have a flat rate of $15 per month for a single user when billed annually for the Essentials plan. The upgraded version includes custom branding, bulk sending, and enhanced reporting. Here are the cons. No free version is available. The standard plan starts with two users, and the cheapest plan does not have Salesforce integration. When we talk about HelloSign, the use cases vary from sales contract to HR onboarding to financial agreements to mortgage and escrow, on-demand services, insurance documents. So it's really, really diverse. Okay, and HelloSign adds value a lot through a lot of things. You, you can embed e-signatures into your website or app. You can streamline sales contract and proposal signing. You can automate paperwork for hiring and, and employee onboarding. You can collect NDAs, waivers, and secure personal information, NDA standing for non-disclosure agreements. It's faster than paper, it's easy and intuitive, and it's legally binding, and it's secure and reliable. Okay, and why do you need Dropbox Sign? Electronic signatures, you can sign documents, you can sign and fill PDFs, online contracts, you have signature editor. Okay, and in terms of products, they have Dropbox Sign, Dropbox Sign API, Dropbox Forms. Dropbox facts and integrations. In terms of uh, pricing, as of the data of this year, you can see on the screen how the pricing looks like. I want to talk to you now about Foxit e sign. And one thing we love about this, this uh, service is that you are spending less time preparing documents for online signatures. And Foxit e sign requires 30% less clicks to e-sign documents than other leading e-signature software options. And the, 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 cool, the cool thing is that Frosted e-sign is available in 12 languages, and this is really good. It's, it, it's very easy to use. You have a simple collaboration process. It is, uh, you save time, you have seamless integration with uh, other, uh, uh, other uh, apps and uh, software tools. I'm speaking here about Google Drives, Dropbox, WordPress, and more. And you have a template library. That's really where uh, Foxit eSign really, really shines. You, you can access pre-made templates of popular contracts, HIPAA declarations, MOA memorandum of agreements, and more. Okay, so with uh, Foxit eSign, you can create online signatures and uh, eSign documents and contracts from anywhere. Okay, and how does the whole thing work? Well, the Foxit eSign, I've already said it, is available in multiple languages. Okay, and so you have uh, thousands of users in 60 countries to sign documents with confidence. So if you work in, uh, in an organization that has international, uh, that has an international proclivity, inclination that is, then you want to, uh, you might want to think about Foxit eSign because you can actually add documents to eSign. You can upload your documents and create a template to sign. You can add parties and send. You can add recipient and send for e-signature. You have an e-signature document. In other words, you can get multiple parties e-sign a document. And you can archive the document. In other words, you can save, send, and archive temper-proof documents. The whole thing here is that you have to understand, when we speak about Foxit e-sign, you have to understand that you are able to quickly and easily integrate e-sign genie with all of uh, your favorite apps. We're speaking about Google Drive, I said that before, Dropbox, and so on and so forth. And what we love about Foxit eSign is the ability to do things quickly. See, we live in a world right now where the uh, the um, the presence of electronic signatures, electronic transactions plays an important role. So you need to have a system that is that's very easy to use, that is secure, and that is compliant. Those are the this is the trifecta that we always pay attention to when we analyze all those five uh, and more. Those five uh, e-signature providers and the fact that eSign did a great job. They actually uh, did a great job in terms of all those three elements. 
In terms of pricing, as of the date of this show, you can see on the screen right now, here is the pricing of uh, Facet A Sign. Let me quick, so I, I'm just done with the comparative analysis now. Before I reveal to you our big winner of today's, uh, you know, compare and contrast uh, scenario, please understand a little bit about the whole thing about e-signature. So how does e-signature, electronic signature software really work? So electronic signature software allows users to put their signatures on a digital document. And cloud-based solutions allow multiple people to sign from different locations while desktop-based solutions allow you to edit and assign documents on your own laptop, computer, or mobile device. And many include strong security features that record the signer's location and computer information to ensure they were the true signer. By the way, all those signatures are legally abiding. They're legally binding, not legally binding. Legally binding, very important, okay? So you, you can actually use electronic signature software for, virtu for virtually any signature needed today. Outside of the rate contract, a legal document that standardizes the cost of goods between parties and requires a wet ink signature, you can use the web to edit and sign most contracts and documents. In a form, documents or agreements, so if a form, documents or agreement requires some kind of signature, odds are that there, there is uh, an electronic signature software option that can handle it. That's very important because a lot of, uh, a lot of people believe that you have to uh, go to a notary, you have to do things. Uh, no. Nowadays, you can do a lot of stuff electronically. Okay. So electronic signatures are very safe to use. They are completely safe to use. The, the apps in today's conversation, the five apps, DocuSign, Adobe Sign, Panadoc, HelloSign, Faxed eSign, all take security seriously and allow you and your collaborators to sign worry-free. Obviously, those, are, those apps are backed by organizations that really have a strong security features. We're speaking about Adobe. We're speaking about Dropbox. Okay, so those are biggies here. Okay, and but that doesn't mean that you should not use regular online security precautions like strong, unique passwords for your electronic signature program logins. Okay, and when we talk about so, what is really the difference? Because this is a question that we got while we were preparing for this show. What is really the essential difference between an electronic signature and digital signature? An electronic signature is a term for a handwritten signature or something similar that represents your intent to sign a document. The terms may be used interchangeably, but digital signature typically refers to a type of authentication that keeps secure and verifies digital documents and resources. So, DocuSign versus HelloSign versus Adobe Sign versus PandaDoc versus Faxed eSign. Which one should you choose right now, boss? Well, a, a short answer to a complicated question is, it really depends. It depends on a constellation of things, okay? It depends on your needs. Right now, are you, are you, do you need the e-signature for a private transaction or a business transaction, okay? What are the resources you currently have? In other words, what kind of uh, resources in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, financial resources? in terms of logistical resources, in terms of uh, human resources, do you need, okay? Because uh, whether, you know, if you sign up with uh, DocuSign versus uh, Faxed eSign, the requirements are not the same. And what is the level of, of urgency that you need? In other words, you're working on a transaction. Is that transaction really urgent or this is something that can really wait, okay? And because uh, there are some uh, providers that have cloud-based solutions, whether some other uh, providers have uh, desktop-based solutions. Obviously, if you have something cloud-based, it is faster than, uh, I mean, all for all intents and purposes, it is faster than something that, something that is desktop-based because simply whatever you sign on your desktop, you have to upload it to, uh, to a database for all the other parties to see it. But if it is, is cloud-based, all parties actually access the data in real time. You also have to think about the degree of data security that you need. Okay, so th this is really important. This is an important criteria when it comes to uh, choosing your uh, e-signature software provider. And also, do you have ongoing needs or this is a one-off contract that you have to sign? So some solutions are better for ongoing contracts, what, uh, ongoing, uh, ongoing agreements, while others are just great for sporadic commercial transactions. So the way we chose 
the best electronic signature software. We actually looked at various, various providers, various solutions, about 20 or 25. So we focused on security, ease of use, pricing, features, and integrations. And in choosing the winners for each category, we picked top providers that meet general signature needs in addition to the specialized features of each category. So let's check out the pricing again for all five services. So on the screen we have DocuSign, Adobe Sign, Panda Doc, Hello Sign, and Foxit A Sign. So basically for us, depending on your needs, you may find a quick and free electronic signature solution that captures the details you need, okay? But uh, it depends again on the complexity of, of your needs. So after uh, comparing and contrasting DocuSign, Adobe Sign, PandaDoc, HelloSign, and Foxit Sign, our choice is Hello sign, now called Dropbox sign. And Hello sign for us wins by a large margin at 9.5 over 10, followed by DocuSign at 9.1 over 10, followed by uh, we have here Adobe sign here, we have uh, 8.9 over 10, we have PandaDoc 8.7 over 10, and Foxit E sign 8.2 over 10. Thank you so much for your. Uh, your attention, I really appreciate it. I will see you next time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.